So it's the fifth Sunday of the month, and our practice in our mission partner program now, if you can believe we've been doing it for 10 years, is on the fifth Sunday, the money goes to the pastor's discretionary fund. And you might say, well, you're only going to be here for two more, month, two more weeks, so what do you need money for? And of course, it's not about me, right? It's about the next um, step in the, the journey. And Pam, our moderator, is going to tell us about the next step in our journey. Thank you, David. Good morning, everyone. Um, the governance team has been meeting every week since David um, announced his new call. And we'll continue to do that for as long as we need to in order to get our short and long-term plans into place. Um, but one of the first things that we have done is to uh, elect a bridge pastor who will be our pastor until an interim is appointed. And I am absolutely delighted to announce that Terry. <laughs> Terry has agreed to take on this position. And so she will be both uh, the bridge pastor responsible for worship service, um, responsible for congregational things other than congregational care, <laughs> um, congregational care but, and well. congregational care as well, and uh, staff supervision and so forth. Um, and so as we move forward from this time, we will begin, after this is all in place, we will begin, um, we have selected an interim search committee whose job will be to uh, find us an interim pastor. And after that is in place, well, actually probably before, we will also begin the process of um, engaging a, long a search committee for the settled or long-term pastor who will join us one day. So uh, I, I want you to know that among all these busy things to do, what is most on our hearts I think, is um, communicating with you all, knowing how you are doing, knowing what you need in this time, knowing how we can work together to bring our church to the new place that God intends it to go, even though we may not know, certainly we do not know what that is yet, but I'm sure it will evolve in the coming months. So. Uh, we are working as a governance team on ways to be in contact with you all. And um, I want to say today, there'll be more uh, news coming out about that very shortly. But I want to say today that anytime any of you has a question, a concern, anything you'd like to talk about, an idea, please don't hesitate to contact one of the governance team. We would love to talk to you about it. We would love to have your input and address any concerns that you might be having. So please stay tuned for more detail, and um, that will be forthcoming, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you. Thank you. Well, I'm thrilled with that news, uh, because it feels like when I leave, there won't be chaos and things won't fall through the cracks. And a bridge period is intended to be a very short, like four weeks, eight weeks. Um, it kind of depends in some ways on what interim pastors are available uh, today or might be available tomorrow. But know that uh, because of Terry's relationships with people in the congregation, that you will continue to be well cared for. And one of my concerns, too, was our online members. Uh, we want to make sure that you feel conti continue to feel connected. And Terry's relationships with everyone online is important in that too. So the Pastors Discretionary Fund, which now I can't sign any papers on, we've gone to the bank, uh, will be available for Terry and then for our, our future pastors. And I invite you today, uh, you can give if you're sitting in, the, in here by opening your camera and following the link on this QR code, going to our website, or there's an offering basket in the back. As you leave today, you can leave money in there. I invite us now to thank God for the gifts that we are able to share. 
the things we are, in fact, able to do to make a difference in this world. And we say, thank you, God, and let us now listen to some music.